Hey. So, we got to see a pretty cool movie the other day. Isn't that right, sis? We sure did. As you can see, some of us enjoyed ourselves a bit more than others. But it was fun! Rory even tagged along. She wanted to see Spider-Verse. We both really loved Spider-Gwen, but Riley insisted on giving DC another shot. James Wan is amazing, she said. It might even be as good as Wonder Woman, she said. She just wouldn't let us say no. But hey, at least she couldn't be a third wheel. Hard to count as an actual person when you spend the whole movie wistfully sighing and drooling into your popcorn. What? Wait a minute! I was not drooling! But there was wistful sighing. I, that's not... You know, it's probably a good thing we didn't make it a double date. You might have made yours jealous. Okay, that's quite enough of that. Time to talk about the movie now. How you guys doing? Ready to tune in? Cool! This is a bullet tune mini! Smooth. Shut it, you. In all seriousness, though, I've got to admit, Aquaman was surprisingly pretty good. Don't know why anyone would be surprised, honestly. James Wan's been exclusively cranking out good movies since he first showed up on the scene. From the director's chair, anyway. Wow, you know he must be good if Riley's saying that about a guy who's mostly directed horror movies up until now. That was the biggest concern. It's the same with Shazam, actually. That director comes from a mostly horror background, too. Superhero movies tend to be pretty far removed from horror, so there was no way of telling if their styles would carry over. Well, clearly something clicked. But I guess a story is a story. If you know how to tell one, a lot of the skill set applies no matter what the genre is. It works out especially well for Aquaman, too. Huh? Well, the way I've always seen the story and mythology of Aquaman is basically this tale of Arthurian legend, but underwater, mostly. And with an added superhero spin, because that's how you got kids interested back in the 50s and 60s. And just to make that point more obvious, his name is Arthur. Huh, I never really thought about that, but it makes a lot of sense. I mean, a lot of DC heroes are spins on classic mythology. Sky gods, gods of the underworld, demigods, champions, the works. It applies really well here, especially if you view the trident as Excalibur. Yeah. I'm sure people are gonna dump on the movie for being unoriginal or something, but I think there's something to be said about the unfair expectations for everything to be 100% fresh and new. It takes a classic formula and puts its own spin on it. That's all I expect or even want out of an Aquaman story. Well, that and I can be. Yeah, that's a plus too. Did I already mention my sister's complicated opinion of the female lead? She loves Mira. She's smart, tough, takes things into her own hands, and she's a redhead. Doesn't the description sound like it'd appeal to a certain someone? There's just one itsy-bitsy teensy-weensy problem. She's the love interest of the film. It was hilarious watching Marley tear herself apart like Golem over the romantic subplot. No, really. One minute, it's, ugh, this buffoon doesn't deserve a goddess like Mira. And then the next minute, it was, ugh, why can't I be her? If I didn't know any better, I'd have thought I was a triplet. Hmm? She's been awfully quiet. Oh! Whoops. Uh, huh? What happened? Rila? What did you do? Oh, <laughs> nothing. So, what else did you like about the movie? Okay, well, I really dug the look of it. I'm kind of just over harping on CG. Unless it's glaringly bad or amazingly good, it's just not worth talking about. But while this is really neither, the actual design of Atlantis and everything is really cool. Atlantis looks awesome, the costumes are great, and the designs for the less humanoid characters are interesting. Yeah, I personally really liked the action. You can actually see what was happening. The camera wasn't being controlled by a toddler in an earthquake. It was steady and had some pretty nice shots. Yeah, I also really dug the lighter tone of the movie. I mean, let's get real here. One of the reasons DC keeps getting their asses beat by Marvel is that they take themselves too seriously. Serious moments and stuff are fine, of course, but if the whole movie is just dour and broody, it just sucks a lot of fun out of sitting through it. Wonder Woman struck the best balance of that so far. Justice League was fun in parts, but I think they definitely overcorrected a bit. It was, um... A mess? Such a mess. Some good pieces, though. Anyway, this movie's a lot more fun than serious, but it still manages to work. 
Though it's kind of weird watching stuff as a writer because you start expecting stuff to happen. I mean, I can't really say whether it was tension or cynicism, but I stayed expecting characters to die or betray one another. And I think it was almost kind of refreshing when I turned out to be wrong. A lot of the time, that kind of thing is a bust because you can tell it was just them trying to be clever or edgy. And this movie basically builds up that kind of idealism that I think the DC Universe was really built on. Oh, were you expecting You Know Who to be a villain too? Yep. I was as surprised as you were that it didn't happen. So, what didn't you like? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to watch it again and really pay closer attention to pick things out, probably. Oh? Would that really work? It's not like the reason you weren't paying attention is going to go away. Sh shut up! Okay, fine! Um, uh, oh! Black Manta! I kind of would have liked to see a little more of him. I know they're setting up for him to be a big thing in the DCEU going forward, and I'm happy for that. But I'd have liked for him to factor into the climax at least a little more than he does. Fair enough. I think the only real thing that bugged me was some of the acting in certain scenes. There was this one flashback around, I think, the middle of the movie. The guy they got to play that version of young Aquaman was... Ugh. Yikes. Oh, that scene! Yeah, dude, that was painful! Why was that the read they went with? I don't know. There are also some really tiny consistency things, but none of them were big problems. Nitpicks, mostly. Frankly, I got everything out of this movie I wanted. It was a DC flick that was fun and not an incoherent mess. Imagine that. Right? I almost feel like we stumbled across a unicorn. And that's our take on it. What about you guys? You see it yet? What'd you think? Or, let's be honest, you all saw Spider-Verse this weekend. So, how was that? Leave a comment below and give that like button a zap while you're down there. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to know whenever we upload a new video. This has been a Bullet 2 Mini. I'm Rila. I'm Riley. And as always, stay, stay tuned. tuned.